In this video, you are going to be receiving an introduction to polynomials. So first we have a monomial. A monomial is a real number, a variable, or a product of a real number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. Remember, a whole number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., not negative numbers. So some examples of monomials include 12y, negative 2y squared, 3.26xy to the fifth, and x over 2. Next, we are going to be looking at how to find the deg degree of a monomial. So to do that, it's the sum of the exponents of its variables. The degree of a non-zero constant is zero, and zero has no degree. So we're going to be finding the degree of each of the monomials in example one, two, and three. So let's look at 12. 12 is a constant, so since it's a constant, it's going to have a degree of zero. In example two, we have 12xz, so we're going to be looking at the variable, variables x and z. Well, the exponent on x is one, and the exponent on z is also one. So to, 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 get, to get the degree, it, we're going to be adding one and one. So the degree is going to equal two. In example three, we have 12xz y cubed. So we're going to be looking at the variables x, z, and y cubed. And so the um, exponent on x is one, and the exponent on z is one, and the exponent on y is three. So we're going to be adding one plus one plus three. So the, the degree of that monomial is going to be five. Next, we're going to be looking at like terms. A term is a number, variable, or the product or portion of a number and one or more variables. So we're going to be boxing the like terms in different colors in each of the examples, and then we're going to be looking at how many terms are in each expression. So in example one, we have x to the fourth, so I'm going to put a box around that because I'm looking for a like term that also has x to the fourth as its variable. And so we have negative 9x to the fourth. So I'm putting a box, and I'm also making sure that I'm including the negative in the box because it is a negative 9, not a positive 9. Next, I'm going to put a box around 2x squared, and I'm looking for another term that has an x squared. And so we have a plus 1x squared. So those would be the only like terms in this expression. 5 is a constant, and there are no other constants. And so we have five terms actually in this expression. In example two, negative six is a constant, so I'm going to put a box around that, and another constant in this expression would be seven, so I'm going to put a box around that, and then we have five xy, and we're looking for another term with xy, and we have a negative seven xy, so once again I'm going to be including the negative in that box because it is a negative 7 and then we have 4x squared and we don't have any other x squared terms and so we do have five terms in this expression as well and then in example 3 if you notice we don't have any like terms so I'm not going to be putting any boxes around those but we do have four terms in that expression all right, adding and subtracting monomials with like terms. So in example one, we have x to the fourth minus nine x to the fourth. And so since those are like terms, we can subtract them. And so that's going to equal one x to the fourth. The coefficient on x to the fourth is one. And then minus nine is the same as adding a negative nine. So to actually add the, to add these monomials, we are going to be adding the coefficients and not changing anything with the variable. So we're going to add 1 and negative 9 to get negative 8, and then we're going to keep the variable x to the fourth. In example 2, we have 5xy plus 7xy. So those are like terms, so we're just going to add the coefficients, 5 and 7. And so that's going to equal 12xy. And notice I didn't change anything about the variables. And then example three, we have negative two x cubed plus three x cubed. And since those are like terms, we're just going to add the coefficients, negative two plus three, and that gives us a one x cubed, or one x cubed is the same as x cubed. All right.
a polynomial is a monomial or the sum or difference of two or more monomials. A quotient with a variable in the denominator is not a polynomial. So we're going to identify if the following are poly polynomials. And so in example one, it is a polynomial. In example two, it is not a polynomial because of the exponent negative two. Remember, the exponents have to be whole numbers. In example three, that is not a polynomial because we have an x in the bottom of a fraction in the denominator. And so we can't have that either. All right, next we're going to be looking at the standard form of a polynomial. The, the standard form is the form of a polynomial that places the terms in descending or decreases from left to right order by degree. So we're going to look at the first example, which it is in standard form. And so y to the fourth has a degree of four, five y squared has a degree of two, 3y has a degree of 1, and 4 has a degree of 0. So if you notice, it, it the degrees do decrease from left to right. And so this polynomial um, is in standard form. Next, I have an example that's not in standard form. So we're going to look at the degrees of each term. So x cubed has a degree of 3, 7x has a degree of 1, negative 2x to the fifth has a degree of 5, and then 6 has a degree of 0, and negative x has a degree of 1. And so if you notice, those do not decrease from left to right, and so therefore it's not in standard form. So to determine the degree of the polynomial, we look at the highest degree of any term of the polynomial. So we're going to look at the examples that we just looked at. We're going to look at the first example that is in standard form. So the highest degree of any of the terms of the polynomial was 4. So the degree of this polynomial will be 4. And in the next example, we have a polynomial that's not in standard form, but we're still going to look at which one is the highest, de the highest de degree to determine the de degree of the polynomial. And so the negative 2x to the fifth has a degree of 4, so, excuse me, sorry, it has a degree of 5, so that's going to be the degree of the polynomial. All right, last we're going to look how to name polynomials. You can name polynomials two ways. We can name them by using its degree, or we can name it using the number of terms. So in the first example, I have the polynomial 5. 5 has a degree of 0, so when you have a degree of 0, that is called a constant, and 5 is just one term, and so we name one term a monomial, which we've already talked about. Next, we have 6x plus 5. That has a degree of 1. We call polynomials with a degree of 1 linear, and then 6x plus 5 has two terms, and so we call a polynomial with two terms a binomial. Next, we have negative x squared plus 6x plus 5. That polynomial has a degree of 2, and we call a polynomial with a degree of 2 a quadratic, and that example also had three terms, and so if we have three terms, we call that polynomial a trinomial. Next, we have 2x cubed. That has a degree of 3. We call a polynomial with a degree of 3 a cubic, and then that also was just one term, so remember we call those polynomials monomials. And then in our last example, we have x to the fourth minus 6x minus 5. That has a degree of 4, and we call those polynomials fourth degree polynomials. And then in that example, we had three terms, and we call a polynomial with three terms a trinomial.